Hello, hello, welcome back. I have to say Merry Christmas. Hopefully you guys got your Christmas wish. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Tokyo Blue. You've come to Game Station Tokyo. Today we're doing a stumble through of the evil within. This is episode 31. I think we made it into chapter 9. So let's move forward and onward. Detective Castellanos. Was that someone else's memories? Okay, so I hope you guys have enjoyed your Christmas vacation. Welcome back. Uh, that was kind of a disturbing way to start this new chapter. I think uh, we're in chapter nine. All right. Stop spinning my wheels you and let's get going. In your sleep. It's Jill. Have a bad dream? Someone just set me on fire. <sighs> uh, though I do miss that side of yours. How come I can't get out? Here we go. No. No. Not that way. No. 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 Not that way. Try to tie your no. shoes. Come on. Are these doors open? No. 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 Oh. Not that way. I can no. look in. <laughs> oh, look at my fist is <laughs> warping through the door. Please refrain from agitating the others. How come so cold? I thought we were really close. It kind of scared me there with all that blood on you last time I saw you. You don't look well at all. There's a picture up there. Uh, let's see. And do I still have nothing? Have I gained anything? I got sniper. Sniper rounds. I got some rounds in the pistol. Other than that, nothing else. I got one flash ball. Oh, I got an explosive ball. Okay. And I can make, whoop, not what I wanted to do. Uh, I wanted this. I'm gonna make it, yeah, please. Thank you. Uh, and what did I get rid of? My shotgun. No. Nope, not what I wanted to do. I'm sorry, I'm getting used to this again. Christmas vacation and the holidays have really kind of messed up my inner clock. And what do we do? Right, there we go. All right, let's check out this picture. Memories are vague things indeed. <laughs> it can be easy at times for memories to be distorted by others. That is why they must be cherished. I tell you, I think. Somewhere along, I think Sebastian's part of this. I think his mind has gotten warped or something. I don't know how. He's part of the experiment. Um, newspaper? Newspaper? We can read it. Look at that hole. I've already seen this. Do I have to look in there? <laughs> yeah, that was disturbing. Wait a minute, I didn't even get to say hi to Jill yet. Holy smokes. Can I look at that again? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm going to have to change my pants now. Some other paintings here. Eyeball in a shroud looking down at a city. A safe. Oh, there's wallpaper on the wall, too. What's this? Someone gutting a pig. 
the looks of it. Gross. Okay. No newspaper? This thing's got color to it, too. What's on the wall here? Sunflowers. More pictures. Alright. Uh, do I have a key? One key. And 9,600 bottles of brain you juice on the wall. You seen a ghost. I have. It's spooky. Can't get in here now. Alright. Okay, I have one key, any of these open? No? So I just take random pot luck. Um, which one's not open? Four or five of them open there. Uh, look at this bottom one. Okay. Okay, I'll take it. Juice me up. 16,000. Uh, I believe I can really... Alright, let's try it. I know you guys want to whoop, get this started, but I want... I have like no weapons on me either. I need to... I think the next big upgrade was going to cost me 15,000. So, let's see what I can do with it. Increase my survivability. Especially with no ammo. Okay, abilities, life gauge, maximum sprint, melee, syringe. See, there's 15,000 to go to the next level. Uh, I do want to increase. My ability to carry agony bolts, so increase the maximum of agony bolts that can be carried. That would be nice. Uh, and shells, too. If I increase, oh, I can carry four at a max. That's five. Wait a minute, that's only 5,000. What else did I want to do? Explosive bolts. Oh, here, I can make my explosive bolts more deadly. Uh, that would make the time longer. Affected area. Flash bolts. Longer, right? Duration. Harpoon. This is what I would like to do. Um... 160 harpoons are really nice if you if you can hit the mark uh, affects enemy in a three meter radius but damage decreases it further okay. one more for explosive two more for harpoons let's go with the harpoon there it was. 15 for the explosive. So tempting. But I'm here. Let's see. What do I want to do? I want to see fire damage added at level 5. I'd like to, I'd like to see those harpoons set people on fire. Go with harpoons. I know. You want to get started. Wasting a lot of time here. Uh, I got 6,000. Should I save it? I'll save it. Okay. Let's get started. Oh, can't use that mirror. Why they took that mirror away? It was made things easier. That's why. Uh-huh. They tricked me. Black and white now. Alright. Let's take out a weapon. Can't take out any weapons. Nightmarish black and white. Maybe I'm actually. Did I go colorblind just now? It's a sunflower. Uh, 
Huh? Can't do anything. I can't move. Alright. <laughs> look, look at those eyes of his. He's like, what's going on? I just peed in my pants. Uh, I don't think I need a lantern. At least I made it out of that place. Stomp on that. Oh yeah. Did I get anything? Nothing. No treats, no nothing. Alright. Pull out my gun. Get a better look at things this way. What was that? Alright. A little squirrel or something scare me. If there's anything back there. I'm sorry. I just want to check. Sometimes. Oh, man. I gotta improve my stamina, too. Stop eating those donuts. Oh, look. There was something. Whew. Almost missed the map fragment. 15. Alright, you see? It is good to come back here every now. Oh, look. Some, maybe some more resources. Yes! Brain juice! Use a little bit of that. Die. Nothing. Oh, harpoon. I'll take you. Thank you. Uh, you know here? Nothing. How deceiving. They put things like behind you. My health is doing all right. Anything else back here? More barrels. Stop! Thank you. On my way to leveling up again. Just gotta meet Jill somewhere. Really should buy her some flowers. Uh, so my assumption, or presumption, about the game is that Sebastian has suffered some sort of mental breakdown. And we're kind of traveling through his head. That's my new presumption. All right. Uh, I don't want to miss anything. Get out of here! Wait. I've seen that house somewhere. It's my house. I used to be rich until I went crazy, insane, and killed people. Now I'm in a mental institution, fighting for my mental health. I've never health. been here before, but... Uh, not a bad looking place. A little bit big for my taste. What was that? Look at the detail though. Detail's pretty good. PS4. I like it. Uh, let's have a look see. Anything over here? Can I jump? Oh, I can run right through the hedges. Look at that. Alright. Over here. Hey, look at this. All oh, right, more resources. Come on. Two boxes, one nothing. One jar, nothing. Red herring. Okay. Box. Aha! Perfect. These be shells. Yes. One shell. There's someone hunting over here and they just left the box empty. Uh, what is that? Is that a flashbolt? 
Yeah. Boom. Explosive bolt. Keep that loaded. Alright. Uh, anything else? It's really hard. I have close to nothing. That last episode really took a lot of my resources. So I'm just trying to scavenge now. I know some of you guys don't like that. But I hate kind of need it, you know? I'm a bad shot. Oh, some more barrels? Okay. Ah, oh, come on. It's cheesy. Oh. Hello. Hello. <laughs> yes. Can't wait to see Jill. Tell her I got the keys to my apartment back. Anything in here? Uh, come on. So some other stuff. Oh here. I'm making my way up. I need another fifteen thousand bottles of brain juice. I'll go. I'll go. Oh, what's that? Aha! Try hiding on me. What is that? All right, sniper rifle. Thank you. Anything else? Nothing? Nothing. That was worth it. Is this the gate I came in through? It is. Alright. Alright. Uh, it's over here in the center. Nasty birds. Get out of here! Let's go in. Guess we gotta do that sometime. Hey! Stop, damn it! Yeah. Lousy doctor. Checkpoint, thank you, thank you. Brain juice. Come on. The cruelest no, intentions. Chapter 9. We made it. Okay, over here. So that doctor was part of it. Earlier on, he didn't let me in on anything. Oh, yes, thank you. Is everything set up? Mm. <gasps> Not what I wanted to do. Uh, maybe I should. I could always switch. Okay. bunch of places to check out. I hear Jill. Alright, so there's that room. This locked room. Can I break this? Out of spite? Oh, I can. <laughs> A 1,000 year old vase broken. Nothing in it. Is that where Jill is? Let's take a look. Yep. Okay. Uh, we'll read the diary and I'll go back out. We just hit a checkpoint. 
Crimson Post newspaper clipping. Tractor fire kills. Child, nanny in Crimson City, February 11th, 2012. That was two years ago. Despite the KCFD's quick arrival and best efforts, a fast-spreading house fire took the lives of a young girl and her babysitter yesterday afternoon in Park in the Park Ridge neighborhood of Crimson City. Yeah. <gasps> Lily Castellanos, age five, and her babysitter. Oh, no! Uh, Guanita Flores, 56, were unable to escape the smoke and flames that quickly consumed the single-family home. You see, this was my house. Lily's parents, both detectives for the KCPD, rushed to the scene, but were too late to save their daughter from the flames. Ah, oh, that's tragic. The blaze was finally defeated by firefighters after several hours, but the home was completely destroyed. The cause of the fire is under investigation, but initial findings point to faulty electrical electric wiring. Continued on page 8, fire. He lost his daughter. Yeah, that'd throw someone over the edge. No, I didn't want to go in. All right. Around. So Sebastian did go a little loony, I think. And what happened to his wife? Myra. Myra must have went insane or... Maybe she kept her sanity. Why are those trees flickering? They're ghost trees. Oh, what was that? Another. There he is. Come here, you. Come here. Hey. What was that? That was just ridiculous. Now do I got to go back in here and read it again? Now what? Ah, oh, all right. We know what's going on. Just collect this stuff. I don't need to break the vase. I should do. And maybe that's why Ruva came. I broke his vase. Now he's upset. Do I have to read the? Uh, should I read it? Let me just go in here. Okay, someone broke the dishes, fired the butler. Another door? No. Maybe he came out of here. Maybe he came through that door. Do I want the bottle? Oh, there's a note over here. Let's read this. What's that wire? Vacuum hose? Man. Mansion dining room note. I finally come to recognize the way, the portal to the new world. The way. Come to recognize the way, the portal to a new world. The details are all there. Have been right in front of me. <sighs> Excuse me. It's kind of late. I finally come to recognize the way, the portal to a new world. The details are all there. Have been right in front of my nose. I'm appalled and incensed that I did not see them sooner. The specific process to break down a human psyche to obliterate it and give myself free reign is so obvious. And now that I see it, now that what I have to do in front of me, la, 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 now that I see it, now that what I have to do is in front of me, that's kind of weirdly put, I feel as if there's nothing else I can do. I can have nothing uh, I can have everything I saw, everything I've lost, but I need resources. Jimenez. Jimenez. That Cretan will finally begin to earn his keep. Oh, he's. I wonder if he's going to, like, use one of his servants to do some testing on. It's a weird cable. Alright. Got a shot. Go in. Oh, wait a minute. Will the door close? It does. Uh... All right, let's give this a shot. There's a 
shadow over there. Someone's holding a sp well, that's a spike in the head or something. Uh, is that Ruvik? Is he coming up behind me? I just set up a bomb. God darn it. He is behind me. Ah oh, man. Why is Ruvik here? Oh no, not again. <laughs> oh man. It's just there to make things harder on me. Alright, I know I'm good here. Some sort of timing threshold or something. Here we go. Bomb. There it is. Thank you. Uh, how do I get it? Can I get the parts? Thank you. Come here, you. Come here. Stay still. in here. Two shots from there. So I think Rubik's here just to keep everything going. You got take it. You know, glowing. Yikes! Get out of the way. That bomb. Oh, that was a close one. Uh, can I make another one? I'll save it. I'll try to do an incendiary. Again, run, run. Oh man, what do we have oh. here? I'm like stuck. Come over. <laughs> run! Ah! Oh. <sighs> here we go again. Now what? Yeah, I agree. Read this. Just get this real quick. She don't move fast. Enough. Kill him? Did they do me that favor? They did do me that favor. What do we have here? 
here. Come on. Do something. Oh, man. Unfair. What do I gotta do? Oh, come on. Come here, Rubik. No. He's catching up. from him? I'm gonna hurry. This is strange. Oh gosh. Yum. Look around. Subject number 58. Test 92A. Electrode placement in M33. Pain region. Ineffective. Anticipate greater results with stimulation of section F7. The consent region of the neocortex. What am I supposed to do here? Subject imprint. Only partially successful. Look around. R2 doing Individual personality traits linger. Move the probe. Subject number 58. Test 92A. Electrode placement in M33. Pain region. Ineffective. Anticipate greater results with stimulation of section F7. The consent region of the neocortex. <laughs> this is in print. Only partially successful. Individual personality traits linger. Oh. There's a little hole there. Start talking. Right. Can I get this guy singing? Is this what did you call it? Your inner sanctum? The research lab is around. I am most impressed. Why are you back? It's a kid. I didn't give you permission. Come now, we're both men of science. Men Leslie? of science are dedicated to the pursuit of knowledge. You can show me your experiments. I can show you things. You wouldn't like them. You'd think they're gross. In science, one must do any number of things a layperson may find disgusting. I've done many things others would consider distasteful. You think I'm some kind of a monster? That's right. You concern yourself so much child. with your appearance. But that mind of yours, that's all that matters. That's Marcello. Is that Ruvik with him? Marcello and Ruvik when he was younger. Uh, all right. So before that guy comes back, uh, Ruvik. Uh, let's get a uh, move on. So I guess Ruvik's there just to move you along the game. Um, let's make it back to Jill. I think. Oh, shells. Just rounds. Okay. Don't look up. Okay. Move, move, move. It's weird if you hear that. Look at the way uh, Sebastian's running. It looks like he's taking these tiny little steps. Woo! Get down. Burn you. Can't burn you. Can't burn you. Four shots. Woo. Die. For once. Back into the kitchen, right? Oh, the dining area. There's that painting I saw in... Over by the desk where Joe was. Uh, what's this? What is that? Hide under the table. You're gonna hide? I'm a man. You don't need to hide. I'm a man with weapons. Whoops. What is that? Someone upstairs?
kind of like a safe room. Alright, we already know what the diary's about. I'll just, yeah, if you guys want to pause the screen, read it. Alright. I knew it. And there is the end of a yet another episode of The Evil Within. Please come on back and join me for episode 32 of my fabulous stumble through. <laughs> uh, so once again, Merry Christmas, guys. We'll see you out there. Maybe I'll see you online, huh? Take care. <laughs>